Hi guys, you're with me for heart and today you're watching the review of the Bat Lab Hapomate. Now before we start guys, I'll be telling you guys what is a pomade in general. Now a pomade comes in a lot of substances like grease, wax or water based and the one that I'm having right now, the Bat Lab pomade is a water based pomade. So what a pomade should do is that it gives a shiny look to your hair, a basically a slick appearance like a slick back or a slick pompadour and pomade it doesn't dry your hair out. Now if you look at the product here you can see there's an eagle over there. Now Bat Lab products they have they have a lot of products and each product they have animals in there. And for the Bat Lab hair clay, if you haven't watched that video, I'll leave the link down in the description below so you guys can check that out. And so as I was saying the Bat Lab hair clay it has a lion picture over there and many of their products they have many kinds of animals printed there but for this one this is the bat lab harpo mate and it has an eagle oh yeah it's an eagle i guess it's an eagle printed over there so over here you got the bat lab logo and this one i bought which is 40 grams and down here it has it has the descriptions right there so this one is a 40 grams the one that i had which is a bad lab clay that was 50 grams so the descriptions is written at the sides because it's in a bigger container but this one is just 40 grams that i bought so the container is quite smaller than the bad lab hair clay which i had and the description is written down here not at the sides now if you guys open the product you will see that it's black in color right but don't worry the pomade the pomade is not black the container as you can see the container is black in color but the pomade the pomade is actually transparent you see there the pomade is transparent there's no color to it you see when you open this it shows like very dark black color but it's just the container but the pomade is transparent now as usual bad lab they have all the same smells in their product now I have the bat lab hair clay and compared to the smell of that clay and this pomade same brand bat lab um, the smell the scent is quite the same but I guess the pomade the scent is quite quite thinner it's not that thick it's not that strong as the bat lab clay but to be honest the smell is quite the same okay I've I've tested their products, um, face wash, shampoo, body wash, all of their products and the smell, they are, they are the same. Now guys, for the important part, which is the holding power of the product. Now, Bat Lab Pomade, I've tried it three times, I guess. I've tried it a couple of times and what I can say about the holding power is that it's not, it's not a strong pomade. Okay, compared to my hipster pomade if you guys haven't watched that video please watch it i'll leave the link down in the descriptions below that's like that's like my first hairstyling video ever in this channel so make sure you guys check that video out so as i was saying compared to this bad lab pomade and my hipster pomade the hipster pomade is really really strong it locks the hair and it lasts it lasts for the whole day even when the wind blows my hair, it still stays intact to my head. It doesn't fly off, it doesn't get messy after that. So that clay, I'm sorry, that, that pomade, that hipster pomade is really strong, even though it's water-based. But for the bad lab pomade, what I can say about the holding power is that it's not strong. It feels like it feels like wax, it doesn't feel like pomade because wax is something which is light. Okay, it's light but easy to style and a pomade is supposed to be really strong pomade is supposed to lock your hair because you're going for that classic hairstyle like in the 60s like a slick back okay a slick back needs, uh, needs a strong product but for the butt lap pomade it's not that strong from the rate 
from the rate of 1 to 10 I would rate this product holding power to 2 out of 10 because it's not that strong I used it um, for a couple of times and it doesn't even last for the whole day like just a few hours after I used it my hair gets messy and when the wind blows my hair it goes all around okay it doesn't stay intact it's not that strong so that's what I can say about the holding power 2 out of 10 now many hair products they have advantages and disadvantages but for this back lap hair pomade that's a lot of disadvantages on it um, one of the disadvantages is that it's not strong hold it doesn't stay for the whole day I mean pomade it should make the hair stay for the whole day but yeah it doesn't stay for the whole day for this product so that's one of the disadvantages and the other disadvantages that I really 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 hate about this product is that it's not easy to wash like that's crazy okay I have like three pomades hipster pomade Gatsby pomade and one more pomade the shine of gold pomade and um, those products are easy to wash number one because it's water based Okay, if water contact with water, it's easy to wash. Okay, so all of my pomades that I have, they are water based, not petroleum based or oil based. So, for this bad lab hair pomade, it is also water based. As you can see here, it says water based pomade. But, it's not easy to wash. Like, I shampoo my hair like 3 or 4 times, it's still there. I can, I can still feel it right there. My hair, my hair feels like there's some product in there. Okay, my hair, my hair, sorry, my hair feels um feels hard. My hair feels um brisky, you know, and so yeah, the washability is really really terrible. And after one day only, I can get my hair free of this product because of my natural oils on the, in the hair. It removes the product from your hair. So um, yeah, no many time how how many times I shampoo my hair, the product is still there. But thank God, the next day I get I got rid of it. Okay, so yeah, that's the disadvantage of this product that I hate the most. It's really really difficult to get it off my hair. Now, if you guys are asking me if I recommend this product for you guys, I would say no. I don't recommend you guys buy this product but if you guys still want to try it you can you can try it this is not an expensive product so you can buy as many as you want but um but for me once i finish this product i wouldn't buy another one i would just use my money and buy other products out there so yeah i won't i won't buy this product again and i don't recommend you guys try it Okay guys, so that wraps up for today's video and if you guys are wondering what product I'm using in my hair right now, I'm using the Gatsby Wax, which is this one. Okay, I'm using the Gatsby Wax and uh, I'll make a video about it next month. Yeah, takes a long time. But anyways guys, that's all for today's video. That is the review of the Bad Lab Hair Pomade. Um, so as I was saying, there's a lot of disadvantages of this product. There's a lot of bad things about this product compared to the good stuff. But yeah, it depends on one's opinion. Maybe for me, I don't like it. Maybe for other people, they have no problem with this product. But anyways guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and comment down below what you think about this review and comment down below if you guys want me to try any products out there so that is all for today guys press that bell notification button below if I upload a new video and you and if you guys missed it even though I upload a video every every once a month but anyways guys that is all for today give this video a thumbs up follow me on my Instagram it's at Odysseus it's right there can you see that so that's all for today guys, I'll see you guys next time. Sure.